Numbers, Chapter 6. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When either a man or woman consecrates an offering to take the vow of a Nazarite, to separate himself to the Lord, he shall separate himself from wine and similar drink, he shall drink neither vinegar made from wine nor vinegar made from similar drink, neither shall he drink any grape juice, nor eat fresh grapes or raisins. All the days of his separation he shall eat nothing that is produced by the grapevine, from seed to skin. All the days of the vow of his separation no razor shall come upon his head, until the days are fulfilled for which he separated himself to the Lord, he shall be holy. Then he shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow. All the days that he separates himself to the Lord he shall not go near a dead body. He shall not make himself unclean even for his father or his mother, for his brother or his sister, when they die, because his separation to God is on his head. All the days of his separation he shall be holy to the Lord. And if anyone dies very suddenly beside him, and he defiles his consecrated head, then he shall shave his head on the day of his cleansing, on the seventh day he shall shave it. Then on the eighth day he shall bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons to the priest, to the door of the tabernacle of meeting, and the priest shall offer one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering, and make atonement for him, because he sinned in regard to the corpse, and he shall sanctify his head that same day. He shall consecrate to the Lord the days of his separation, and bring a male lamb in its first year as a trespass offering, but the former days shall be lost, because his separation was defiled. Now this is the law of the Nazarite, when the days of his separation are fulfilled, he shall be brought to the door of the tabernacle of meeting. And he shall present his offering to the Lord, one male lamb in its first year without blemish as a burnt offering, one ewe lamb in its first year without blemish as a sin offering, one ram without blemish as a peace offering, a basket of unleavened bread, cakes of fine flour mixed with oil, unleavened wafers anointed with oil, and their grain offering with their drink offerings. Then the priest shall bring them before the Lord and offer his sin offering and his burnt offering, and he shall offer the ram as a sacrifice of a peace offering to the Lord, with a basket of unleavened bread, the priest shall also offer its grain offering and its drink offering. Then the Nazarite shall shave his consecrated head at the door of the tabernacle of meeting, and shall take the hair from his consecrated head and put it on the fire which is under the sacrifice of the peace offering. And the priest shall take the boiled shoulder of the ram, one unleavened cake from the basket, and one unleavened wafer, and put them upon the hands of the Nazarite after he has shaved his consecrated hair, and the priest shall wave them as a wave offering before the Lord. They are holy for the priest, together with the breast of the wave offering and the thigh of the heave offering. After that the Nazarite may drink wine. This is the law of the Nazarite who vows to the Lord the offering for his separation, and besides that, whatever else his hand is able to provide, according to the vow which he takes, so he must do according to the law of his separation. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you, and give you peace. So, they shall put My name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Numbers, Chapter 7 Now it came to pass, when Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle, that he anointed it and consecrated it and all its furnishings, and the altar and all its utensils, so, he anointed them and consecrated them. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of their fathers' houses, who were the leaders of the tribes and over those who were numbered, made an offering. And they brought their offering before the Lord, six covered carts and twelve oxen, a cart for every two of the leaders, and for each one an ox, and they presented them before the tabernacle. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Accept these from them, that they may be used in doing the work of the tabernacle of meeting, and you shall give them to the Levites, to every man according to his service. So, Moses took the carts and the oxen, and gave them to the Levites. Two carts and four oxen he gave to the sons of Gershon, according to their service, and four carts and eight oxen he gave to the sons of Merari, according to their service, under the authority of Edomar the son of Aaron the priest. But to the sons of Kohath he gave none, because theirs was the service of the holy things, which they carried on their shoulders. Now the leaders offered the dedication offering for the altar when it was anointed, so the leaders offered their offering before the altar. 
For the Lord said to Moses, They shall offer their offering, one liter each day, for the dedication of the altar. And the one who offered his offering on the first day was Nishon the son of Aminadab, from the tribe of Judah, his offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Nashon the son of Aminadab. On the second day Nathanael the son of Zuer, leader of Issachar, presented an offering. For his offering he offered one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Nethanel the son of Zur. On the third day Eliab the son of Halon, leader of the children of Zebulun, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eliab the son of Halon. On the fourth day Elitzer the son of Shadur, leader of the children of Reuben, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Elitzer the son of Shadur. On the fifth day Shalumiel the son of Zerishadai, leader of the children of Simeon, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Shalumiel the son of Zerishadai. On the sixth day Eliasaph the son of Duel, leader of the children of Gad, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eliasaph the son of Duel. On the seventh day Elishama the son of Amahud, leader of the children of Ephraim, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Elishama the son of Amahud. On the eighth day Gamaliel the son of Padazer, 
leader of the children of Manasseh, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Gamaliel the son of Padazar. On the ninth day Abaddon the son of Gideon, leader of the children of Benjamin, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Abaddon the son of Gideon. On the tenth day Ahizah the son of Amishadai, leader of the children of Dan, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Ahiza the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day Pagil the son of Okran, leader of the children of Asher, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Pagil the son of Okrin. On the twelfth day Ahara the son of Enon, leader of the children of Naphtali, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Ahara the son of Enon. This was the dedication offering for the altar from the leaders of Israel, when it was anointed, twelve silver platters, twelve silver bowls, and twelve gold pans. Each silver platter weighed 130 shekels and each bowl 70 shekels. All the silver of the vessels weighed 2,400 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The twelve gold pans full of incense weighed ten shekels apiece, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, all the gold of the pans weighed 120 shekels. All the oxen for the burnt offering were twelve young bulls, the rams twelve, the male lambs in their first year twelve, with their grain offering, and the kids of the goats as a sin offering twelve. And all the oxen for the sacrifice of peace offerings were twenty-four bulls, the rams sixty, the male goats sixty, and the lambs in their first year sixty. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. Now when Moses went into the tabernacle of meeting to speak with him, he heard the voice of one speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the ark of the testimony, from between the two cherubim, thus, he spoke to him. Thank you for listening. Kindly subscribe to my channel, Kunle Abitayo, Inspirational Channel, KIIC. God bless you.